Meet Glory, a young woman raised off the grid in a convoy of truckers, the last men and women fighting for true freedom on the American open road. Now, in order to pay for her dying father's surgery, Glory has three days to pull off four dangerous cross-country heists with mob killers, crooked cops, and a psycho ex-husband, all out to bring her in or die trying. everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube, and this time we're talking about one of my most anticipated trade paperbacks of recent memory. And uh, yeah, this came out a while ago, I, I finally had a chance to sit down and read it, and gush all over it. Of course, I am talking about Death or Glory from Mr. Rick Remender and Ben Gal. I... I Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I absolutely adore this book. It is awesome, badass, fierce, and just riveting and action-packed to read. It is a wonderful story about, uh, you know, one, it's a modern Western story. Two, it's a revenge flick, if you will, uh, turned into a comic book. And three, it's a heist story set in the American West. And it is, it's lovely. It is a story about uh, badass people doing amazing things. Uh, of course, the circumstances are a little bit tragic. We do meet the character of Glory, and she is a badass. And as, as you keep reading, you find out her story. I won't necessarily spoil things on this review, but I'm just going to say the character has had a rough but interesting lifestyle. This is a story about people defying the system and living free lives and get unfortunately sometimes getting entangled with the wrong people and the consequences of those actions. The character of Glory, as I mentioned, she is strong, fierce, determined, and she follows her own path. Of course, she had a very interesting upbringing. There is a point in the book, in the middle of the book, where you get this beautiful exposition that otherwise, in another story that wasn't done by Remender, it would have uh, slowed the pace of the story. But in the case of this book, it actually enhances the story and gives you a much needed backdrop. Now, if it would have started with that explanation, maybe it would have been a little bit boring, but the way the book starts, it drops you off right into the action. You get quick introductions to everybody. The story starts very the story starts fairly simple with the character of Glory trying to save her dad. Uh, from a uh, disease and and trying to acquire the money needed for an operation. Now, uh, as the story moves along and you uh, start learning about her character, you realize that she is going to have to do impossible things to acquire uh, said money, and uh, there are cars involved and, and mafia, mobs, there are uh, action-packed scenes and a lot of dark subject matter that does get explored in uh, Hollywood movies all the time. But uh, I, th I found it refreshing to read it in a comic book because you can do so much in a comic. And I can also attribute that to, one, Remender's impeccable skill and just a knack for writing these uh, realistic, grungy characters that get thrown into the wildest mix and, and, and they have to survive or, or get with it, you know? And number two, uh, Bengal's artwork. One of my favorite comic book artists. I love, love his artwork so much. It is sort of this perfect aesthetically pleasing blend of everything that I like. It's bright and colorful and, and, and everybody has wonderful expressions and it sort of mixes a uh, contemporary comic book feel with, uh, I don't know, with like Japanese manga influences. It's wonderful, man. I love his artwork so much. One of my favorite writers and one of my favorite artists? Yes, please. And this story 
pulls no punches. It, it, it shows you the, the grim and grittiness of uh, the American West, but it's set in a contemporary setting. It's not necessarily an old tale. But you could very well say that it belongs to a different era by the way the characters behave. And, and there's not a, a real reference point to a timeline. So you can play around with that and re-envision the series as you'd like. That is pretty cool. The story itself plays out, by the way, like a freaking movie. It starts out with uh, small details, like I said at the beginning, and then it progressively gets more hectic. The action is jam-packed and, and full of kinetic energy, especially with the car races, especially with the car scenes. The velocity and turning of the, of the uh, cars are really uh, awesome and really well done. And when you're reading it, it gives you that sense of fluidity and motion that you come to expect when you're reading something like this that involves you know uh, uh, cars and chases and stuff. The action reminded me of a Coen Brothers movie or a, a, a modern western stuff like that where it's you know there are outlaw characters but uh, you know they're breaking the rules but they are after something the story is pretty wonderful and I think if you're into those things you're gonna have a fun time in my honest opinion when there's a car chase you feel it for example stuff like this as you can see here, if the camera can focus, um, yeah, like I said, it just has a sort of slick, uh, fluid uh, motion to it that is just very pleasing to read, in my opinion. Plus, uh, the freaking characters, man, the the illustrations that uh, Bengal does, it's just superb. Look at the character study right there. It borders on the uh, grim and gritty, and then occasionally it goes into the uh, comical uh, scene. Uh, depend well, you know, depending on the panel and the situation. It's most it's mostly a, a drama, a straightforward drama. But on the occasion, it does sort of um, have a few uh, laughs here and there, uh, some quick uh, visual gags and stuff. But it doesn't it doesn't steer you away from the seriousness and the uh, action-packed nature of the story. Also, um, colors. I mean, look at this. This is this is beautiful to behold. I, I absolutely love this. It's so awesome. Um, I usually wait for Remender Books to come out in oversized uh, hardcover, but I couldn't say no to this, man. Uh, and I will probably upgrade when, when they announce a library edition or, or something or a deluxe hardcover. Uh, middle of the book. This is five issues long. The story isn't done. We are going to get more. But for now, it ends on a... On a cliffhanger, you know, uh, you know where the story might take you, and, but you still want to keep reading and you still want to find out what happens. But the way it ends, like, like, yeah, I'm dying to find out, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, it sort of felt like a season finale, if you will, uh, on a cliffhanger. Uh, but um, here is the middle issue that I was talking about, where you get the exposition with the character of Lori explaining all her life, what she's been through, uh, uh, being raised on the highway, the American highway, if you will, with a convoy of truckers and all that stuff, living that free lifestyle, and eventually uh, meeting some people that, you know, they're not as they seemed at first, and it, get, it goes into dark web territories, and uh, do, uh, characters of dubious nature dealing with crime, uh, drugs, and all that stuff. And uh, it's, not it's not her fault, but she gets entangled in it. And now, uh, due to the circumstances of her father having this uh, illness, she's having to confront those demons because they're away from the system, because they've, you know, uh, they wanted to have the perfect life for them. And it's sort of backfired in a way, uh, if you want to look at it that way. And so she has to go back uh, into a world that she cast out. I'm trying not to spoil it, uh, but she makes some decisions that, uh, you know, set the pace for the rest of the book. Let's just say that. So, yeah, uh, I mean, if you like this uh, high-octane thriller that has a roller coaster of emotions... 
slick visuals, great characters, wonderful, beautiful artwork. I wholeheartedly recommend Death or Glory Volume 1 from Image. You can find this uh, anywhere. It's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful read. It's a fantastic read. I cannot wait for Volume 2, and I cannot wait for the oversized uh, version of this. Have you read Death or Glory? Let me know down below. And if not, let me know what are some of your favorite Western slash action adventure stories in comic books. Very interested in finding out. Give me some recommendations down below. Guys, as always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just type what we can geek them, and I am there for you. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We've had a bunch of new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining, and I promise you, more videos are on their way. Thank you so very much. I have got to go. Blessings to all. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Bye.